Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, we're going to look at scanning container images in RHEL 8 with OpenSCAP using the oscap-podman command. To get started, the first thing we'll do is install the OpenSCAP-utils package. This package includes the oscap-podman command. We'll be using this command throughout the demo to do SCAP evaluations of Podman container images on our system. Next, we'll download the latest version of the RHEL 8 oval OpenSCAP file from the Red Hat website using the wget command. This file includes information about RHEL 8 security advisories and will be used in a later step. We'll then run the Podman images command, and as you can see, we have a UBI 8 container image downloaded on this system, and that it's tagged with version 8.0-126, which is an old image. At this point, we're going to go ahead and run the oscap-podman command, and we're going to specify an image ID that matches our UBI 8 image ID from the previous command. We'll also specify that we're going to do an oval evaluation using the rel8 oval file that we previously downloaded, and we'll also specify that we'd like to save the report HTML file to the location listed. And then once the command completes, we'll go ahead and switch over to a web browser, and we'll open up the report file that was generated. And in the report here, we can see that we have 31 Red Hat security advisories that are not patched within this container image, and that's because this container image is very out of date. So for the next example, we're going to switch back over to the command line, and then we're going to use podman pull to download the latest version of the UBI8 image. Once this gets done downloading, our next step will be to rerun the same scan that we did on the out-of-date UBI8 image that we used in the first example, and hopefully this time when we rerun the scan, we'll have a lot less Red Hat security advisories applicable to the image. Next, we'll run Podman Images, and as you can see, we now have a image with the latest tag of UBI8. We'll then rerun the same oscap-podman oval evaluation that we previously did using the rel8 oval XML file, but this time we'll specify the image ID for the UBI8 latest image that we just downloaded. Okay, once that's done running, we'll go ahead and switch back over to a web browser, and then we'll open up the report that we just created based on the UBI8 latest image. And as you can see, now that we're using the latest tag of the UBI8 image, the number of Red Hat security advisories found in this image has gone down to just one. In the next example, we'll scan the container image against the PCI DSS security baseline, which will require that we install the SCAP security guide package. Once that's installed, we'll go ahead and run Podman Images so we can get a list of image IDs, and then we will run the OSCAP Podman command again, specifying the image ID for the UBI8 latest image, and we'll also specify we're going to do an XCCDF evaluation using the PCI DSS profile, and we'll give it the path to the ssg-rel8-ds.xml file, which was installed when we installed the SCAP security guide package. And finally, we also specified the report location where the HTML report should be saved to. And at this point, the oscap-podman command is evaluating the container image against the PCI DSS security guideline. And when this is done, it will have written out a HTML report with the results of the findings. And once that command completes, we'll go ahead and switch back over to a web browser and we'll open a new tab and then we will go ahead and open up the file, the HTML report, that was named UBI latest PCI DSS.html, which contains the results of the PCI DSS evaluation against this container image. And you can see we have 13 failed results here, and we're going to scroll down, and in this example we're going to focus on the one called Prevent Login to Accounts with Empty Password. We'll click on that to see the details. And then we'll click on the Remediation Shell Script button so we can see the commands that are recommended to resolve this finding. So next we're going to show an example of using Builda to build a new container image to resolve this finding. We'll start by telling Builda to base our new container image off the existing UBI8 latest image by using the Builda from command line. We'll then run Builda Containers and see that the container that we're now working with is called UBI8-Working-Container. We'll then run Builda mount UBI working container, which will mount the file system for the container and show us the path. After which, we'll go ahead and CD into that directory. At this point, we're going to switch back over to the web browser and look at the SCAP report again. And what we'd like to do is run these two remediation commands within our container. 
However, we need to change the path from an absolute path to a relative path for the etsy pam.d slash system auth and password auth because we've cd'd into the root file system. So what we'll do is go ahead and take off the first forge slash for those two paths and we'll go ahead and run these set commands from within the root of our containers file system. Okay, now that we've made that change within the container file system, we will go ahead and do a build a commit UBI working container, and we're going to name our new container UBI-custom. We'll then run podman images and confirm that we now see a UBI custom container image listed here. And then we're going to go ahead and run the same PCIDSS SCAP scan that we did previously, but this time we're going to specify the image ID for our UBI custom image that we just created. I'm going to skip the video ahead until that's completed, and then we'll go ahead and open up the report. And you'll now see that the number of failed results has reduced from 13 to 12. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down and find the prevent login to accounts with empty passwords rule. And you can now see that this rule is showing a pass in our new customized UBI 8 image. Well, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day today.